we found him digging in the trash cans behind our house, and so we're going to name him Oscar because he's grumpy. <laughs> And he likes the trash. Oh, that's very nice, Mrs. Smith. I'm a big fan of Sesame Street, too. There's just one more thing we need to go over. We did a blood test on Oscar, and it did come back positive for FIV, which is otherwise known as feline immunodeficiency virus. Are there any other cats in the home? N no, just Oscar, but does that mean he's going to die? No, no. Many cats can live a long and healthy life with FIV. We just need to make sure that there's not any other cats that he could be exposing to the virus. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me? Well, as you can see, my sister is very pregnant. Is there any chance that Oscar could give her the baby HIV? That's about as likely as an alien <laughs> taking me to a spaceship tonight and performing experiments. Yeah. That's <laughs> happened to you too? In this scenario, I would probably gloss over the whole alien thing and make sure that the client is armed with the knowledge about zoonotic disease when they leave the clinic that is going to protect that pregnant mom and the baby. I would make sure that they are um, aware of the disease risks with toxoplasmosis. I would give them handouts on that and just make sure that I'm doing my, my part to protect human health. Also, regarding the disease that's actually a concern with the patient, it is important to provide client handouts where they can take them home, mull over all the information, and then they can call you back if they have any additional questions or concerns. And the only other thing is I would always, you know, tell the client that that's a very good question. So don't laugh at the questions that they're asking you. Always tell them that they're doing a good job asking those questions. Meow.